Hi everyone, Scott with Dearly Departed Online here. Uh, I talked a little bit earlier this week uh, when I did my live chat about the Dawn Wells stuff. A couple of years ago, Dawn Wells, uh, Marianne from Gilligan's Island, had a garage sale at her house. She wasn't there. They say it was for renting uh, or for raising money to uh, her, for her medical expenses or something like that. It was all very vague. Anyway, I, I picked up a bunch of stuff that's in here, and I haven't I haven't looked in this box. I really don't remember what's in it. I know I bought some Christmas decorations that uh, I had up on the tree, and I put those away, uh, so I don't have those handy. I did get these two little glasses that Troy and I do use on a regular basis for our port. But uh, I'm going to open up that box in just a moment. But it's funny that we were talking about Don Wells a little while ago, or, you know, in my last video, because today at the supermarket, this was... Uh, on the stands and it's Marianne's wild affair with Gilligan and of course I had to buy it because it was sort of a a sign to buy it and uh, it talks about Dawn Wells now and, and her affair with Bob Denver which I highly doubt happened I, I don't think <laughs> she was married for a little while but I don't think Dawn was of the uh, of the uh, marrying type after a while and uh, but it just explains their uh, their relationship they said that they were you know during the show, and uh, and the Bob Denver talks about Tina Louise having affairs in the other dressing room. Talks about Marianne being arrested for pot and Bob Denver arrested for pot. These are supposed to be the the secrets that she took to her grave, uh, but uh, there's no real revelations in here. It was just kind of funny to to come up to you know to the supermarket after talking about her today, and um, and uh, and seeing this. So uh, she was busted with pot in 2007 after her 69th birthday, but she passed away earlier this year of uh, complications from COVID. And um, and it's also kind of funny because I was, I was scanning in my files and I found this. And I put this up on eBay this week. This is a, a press kit for the Gilligan's Island, the musical that Sherwood Schwartz had going on in Chicago. Sherwood Schwartz, the creator of Gilligan's Island. And I found uh, I found this file of Gilligan stuff that I've had over the years that I've kept. I, and uh, Natalie's will, the death certificates for Alan Hale and Jim Backus, Natalie Schaefer. Uh, these are the reviews for the uh, Gilligan's Island musical and uh, PR stuff. Uh, this was the, this was the cover of the TV guide. The articles in here somewhere. This is it when they did the rescue from Gilligan's Island. In 1978, that was epic. But these are just some photographs uh, that I was given over the years and articles that I've collected over the years about Gilligan's Island, Natalie Schaefer's uh, uh, obituary, Denver still marooned on Gilligan's Island. And I think I talked a little while ago about the three-hour tour that I did on the Chicago River with my friend Bun. We won tickets for a rescue of the castaways. Actually, I'm gonna insert this because I'm gonna show you these photographs in just a little while. Um, actually, I'll edit this. Uh, back, in, back in the late 80s, uh, WCKG, a uh, radio station in Chicago, had a contest where you could win a three-hour tour with the castaways on the Chicago River on Lake Michigan. And I entered, and my friend Bun and I won, and we got to go on the ship. And in the middle of the Chicago River, uh, another boat pulled up, and on came Marianne Gilligan, the skipper, and the professor. And we did a three-hour tour on the Chicago River with the castaways, and it was it was amazing. It was so much fun. And it was before all those autograph shows. So, um, you know, you couldn't meet these actors or actresses like you can nowadays, uh, you know, very simply. But back then, it was a real, a real effort. We had to make... We had to win tickets, but it was it was so cool. As you'll see, here's a picture of me and Gilligan and the skipper. Here's a picture of, of Bun and I in our SS Minnow. We made costumes for this thing. Uh, and here's a picture of Bun getting her her uh, her sweater signed by her her uh, sweatshirt signed by uh, the skipper. And then I got Bun and I presented Marianne uh, Don Wells with a honeybee pin, and I got to hug her, and we put the pin on her, and she and she said, "I'm going to put this on my Christmas tree." And the cool thing is, we went to her garage to look at the, for her Christmas decorations to find it. Unfortunately, we did it, did not find it, but we did find some cool stuff. So these are all actually um, I'm putting on eBay. So if you're interested, it's there right now. Uh, but this is the Gilligan's Island the musical press kit. And all sorts of stuff. But anyway, so the reason we're here is because we want to see what's in Marianne's box. 
So the cordial glasses we'll put over there. And now we'll open the Don Wells box. Okay, time to crack open Marianne's box. So as I said, I, I, it's only been a couple of years, but I honestly uh, don't really remember what's in here. So I'm excited to see, because when we packed up our museum, Fun. Okay, this I remember. Oh, fun. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> okay, this is... Oh, my God, there's such weird stuff. I'll ex I'm going to get all this stuff out, and I'll explain uh, what it is after it's all out. God, I don't even remember that. So... I, I don't, you know, I don't remember some of this stuff. So these are, some of these things were Dawn's things. I'm sure some of these things were fan things that gave her, they gave her over the years. Uh, this looks like it may be Christmas related. I think Dawn was very into Christmas. This is really cool. I think her family owned a, a moving business called Wells Cargo. And I thought this had her name on it, but uh, I guess not. I thought it did, but this is this is very cool. It doesn't say Dawn on it though. But one of my favorite things that I got, you can see a picture of Marianne, a uh, Dawn Wells. Sorry, I keep calling her Marianne, putting her eyelashes on. So here <laughs> are her eyelashes for every day of the week. Now some of them are not here. Some of them are missing. I I don't know why. Maybe she she left her house on a Tuesday or a Friday. But every day of the week, oh, Dawn's eyelashes. So we have Dawn Wells eyelashes. We have Sharon Tate's eyelashes. Tuesday's eyelashes. Ooh, <laughs> they're kind of creepy. They're like spiders. Uh, uh. But um, so Marion's eyelashes will. <laughs> yeah, so it's a Friday or a Saturday. And uh, there, or Tuesday that she wasn't there, but that is so cool. So Dawn's eyelashes. Dawn's eyelashes. <laughs> I'm gonna put these on. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> I thought this said Dawn on it. It doesn't. Okay. Well. All right. What's next? more stuff in oh, wigs <laughs> Dawn's full wig oh my god yes oh my god <laughs> could you imagine oh oh my god I can't <laughs> oh I want to so bad <laughs> no I won't <laughs> I get so many people creeped out by what I do I'm not going to do that but I could so Dawn's long it smells nice uh, oh, but if you're not in the mood for that, this is her best short fall. Oh, yeah. Oh, a filler top. This is a good one. What is this stuff? Oh, my God, there's so many wigs. Oh, look at Oh, it's her. <laughs> oh, what the? Oh, my God. I don't even know what these what this is, but I love it. Oh, it's sticky. No, it's not. It's got barrettes in it. Oh, it it's, it's it's now it's creeping me out a little bit. But <laughs> Dawn's hair, well, fake hair. Oh, there's so much stuff. I'm so glad I got I got stuff. Okay, this is exciting for me. Bags, paisley. More eyelashes. They're not real, though. She didn't use them. But they're perfectly glamorous. What's that? Oh, <laughs> oh Mary Ann. Oh, it's... Makeup yeah, it's a silk... It's silk. Well, I remember I was going to buy, like, checks, but, but somebody snatched them out of my hand and said, No... Not gonna, we're not selling those because they had her bank information on it. 
What's this? Oh, music box. That doesn't work. It's a broken music box. I have one a lot like this that my grandfather used to have. I like music boxes. I have a few from Ellen Corby, Grandma Walton. What's this? <gasps> Shut up. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, I did buy these. I was thinking, go-go boots? Could they be the honeybee go-go boots? But no. I think we did a we did a, a real look at these things and they're not, but oh my god. Marianne's feet. <laughs> you need us. <laughs> Alright, I'll stop. Okay. That's, uh, that's not creepy at all. It's really heavy too. Oh, it's a magnet. Of course it is. Is that bone? Oh, it's a dolphin. Okay. Christmas. She loved her Christmas stuff. God, I did forget I had all this stuff. Marianne's measuring tape. Oh, look, it has her initials on it. So we have the Yvette Vickers measuring tape, and we have the Marianne Dawn Wells measuring tape. Can you see that without a reflection? Mm -hmm. Okay. Marianne's go-go boots are 10 inches. I'm saving the best for last. Oh, negatives. Oh, my God. Oh, look at this. Handmade by Dom Wells. Somebody's address. Dawn Wells. Look, I didn't even know I had this stuff. Is this what I spent? No, that's, her, that's a beauty salon receipt. Oh, prescription. I think I looked this up. I forget what it's for. Oh my god. Oh honeybee. Yeah, see we were looking at the boots and I don't think so. I don't think so. What do you think, Troy? I think we looked pretty closely. They they couldn't be. No, look at the the heels are, are short. But they're still pretty cool. Near, 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 near. I think, yeah, I remember. I, I think Jordan, because I went with Jordan the Lion, and he filmed tons there. And I think I think he showed uh, these things, and I think he showed the uh, the Made by Dawn, Handmade by Dawn Wells. Where'd she go? What's this for? American Airlines. Oh, South Africa, Johannesburg. New York to Johannesburg. 2008. Okay, so. Look at that. Marianne's hair. <laughs> I want you to see this. If there's roots in there, we can clone her. Mm. <laughs> oh my God. So how much hair do we have? We have Zsa, Zsa Gabor hair. We have Rosemary hair. We have Jane Withers hair. We have Elvis hair. Um... We have Patrick Swayze hair. We got a lot of hair. And May's teeth. Oh, here's the best thing. I just love this. And I just think these are so cool. These are Dawn's glasses. And I don't know. I just think glasses are so cool because, you know, this is where she saw the world through. I mean, I know she had different pairs for different things and stuff. But she, you know, she, she was looking through these things. And I think that's so cool that we have them. And they're, we're locked up. <laughs> oh my gosh, is this thing locked? Ah, here we go. So this is neat, I think. I don't know if there's any photographs of her with them. These are more like Mrs. Howell glasses, really. Purple ribbon. Uh, but look, so Dawn's glasses. Ew. 
They're kind of gross. But I love that. Oh, here's the key to the thing in case we get locked out. It's on the inside. But uh, but that's it. That is that is cool, though. So, let's put this all out. And I, I don't even know. I don't think I spent that much money there. But maybe I did. But it was sort of like Marianne's stuff. You gotta. A lot of these. So, Wells Cargo, Creepy Doll, Eyelashes. I think that's everything. So here's Marianne's contents. So, rest in peace, Don Wells, we love you. And um, you got us, you gave us a lot of pleasure over the years. And you put up with a lot too, because it had, it had to be hard to work as an actress with that Gilligan's Island thing under your belt and not getting compensated over the years for all those reruns. But she had a nice heart. I've met her several times and, uh, and she was always very nice and very polite and very encouraging and, um, tolerant of, uh, of fans. What's this? Oh, they're headshots. Yeah, they're black and white headshots. So, that's that. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Thank you all for watching this video. If you can, please subscribe below. Please hit the like button or the dislike button. Leave a comment. Tell me how much you like what I do or hate what I do or dislike me. I like the one comment. I love everything you put out. I just hate you. Well, <laughs> here you are. But this is my job now. I have no other job. And I love doing this. And by you supporting my page and the Patreon and the PayPal and all that stuff, just to subscribe, it's huge. So please do. Uh, I appreciate it very much. And I want to thank specifically our patrons, Thomas Tomlinson, John Edward Berry, Andrew McKenzie, Lance Rowell, Jen Fritzke, Liam Cottrell, Kristen Dreyer, Bonnie Spence, Daniel Rossman, Mindy M., Melissa Lefko, Victoria Waldock, Ann Meyer in the Frozen North. Thank you so much, Ann. You've been so supportive. And Nancy Fernandez, thank you all very much for being supportive of what I do. I appreciate it. Have a great day. Um, this is me signing out. Thank you. You heard me.